Proper lighting goes a long way towards selling your project to viewers. Dynamic lighting allows your visuals to tell a visually captivating story, elevating your production to an entirely new level. A great way to do this is through lighting gels. Hang on till the end of this video because I'm going to introduce you to lighting gels, what they are and how they affect your videos and your filmmaking. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, but you can call me a dadographer. I've created many other videos on improving your photography, video production, filmmaking, editing, audio recording, and technology, and other skills, even ones on using gels as well in your productions, and I'll link to those in the description below, and both during and at the end of this video, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo editing and tech topics. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my absolutely free DSLR mirrorless or interchangeable lens video camera cheat sheet that will have you shooting your photos and videos like a pro in no time. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with any type of camera, including mirrorless and DSLR cameras. In it, you'll find all the info you need on important video techniques, such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and more. Now, I am a full-time working photographer, video producer, editor, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own, and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below so contact me if you need photography or video production for you personally or for your business. Lighting gels serve a number of purposes, but the ultimate goal of any gel is to change a light's color temperature. Our eyes and our cameras don't see color in the same way. Our eyes can determine what something looks like regardless of the light, whether we're outside in the bright sun or on a cloudy day or inside under fluorescent lights or even by candlelight. Cameras can't do that. As a result, managing color temperature so images on film look like we expect them to is a tricky balance filmmakers have dealt with since the advent of motion pictures. If you're using green screen for example, there are also gels to limit color spill. Spill happens when light bounces off of your green screen or blue screen and splashes onto your subject or actors. While it may only be a hint of green, it makes your post-production work of keying out that green much more difficult. Gels alleviate this spill by keeping the light intensity down. This can also balance out the greens or blues with counter colors to keep them from being noticeable on camera. While a little bit of spill may not seem like a big deal on set, it's a massive headache in post-production. Gels serve these very practical purposes but they also help you to get creative. More than balancing things, gels can drastically alter the overall palette of your scenes. For example, say you're recording a project with a science fiction theme. Using deep blues or violets create a stark neon cyberpunk futuristic feel to your, your scenes that you're shooting. Viewers may not consciously recognize the lighting choices you're making, but it's another layer of immersion into your story that you can create. Similarly, using color gels to highlight important character moments or emphasize emotional points allows you to visually tell a story beyond just a dialogue between the actors. Best of all, gels work with any types of light, including the newest LEDs. There are different gels for different purposes, so knowing what each gel does and the best time to use them is crucial to them being effective and a part of your project. There are several main types of gels that I'm going to list here. The first are color temperature orange or CTO gels. Now color temperature orange brings down the intensity of daylight by filtering out the blues in the lighting spectrum. Where daylight is considered to be around 5600 Kelvin, CTO gels, your lighting set up down to about 3200 Kelvin. This will closer match indoor lighting sources. Another type is color temperature blue or CTB. 
Now color temperature blue is the opposite of CTO, color temperature orange gels, and they're used instead to give tungsten lights a more daylight appearance. These are great for outdoor scenes or anywhere you want to have natural or daylight looking lighting in the space that you're shooting. Minus green is another. This is a magenta colored gel that strips out the green and gives off a more natural indoor light look. If you find yourself filming inside offices with fluorescent lights, these types of gels are a must because fluorescent lights are really green color. Minus green also helps with green screen spill like I talked about before. Neutral density or ND gels are all about controlling lights intensity. They're like sunglasses for your eyes, only they're for your lights pulling the brightness down without affecting the colors at all. Primarily, these are used for covering windows to block out sun coming inside when you're shooting inside, but your person, say, is sitting next to a window and it's too bright. Gels are incredibly helpful, but like all things in video production, no single tool is perfect for every situation. All gels have multiple gradations to choose from, and you may need to test a few before finding the right one for each seat. Gels are among some of the cheapest pieces of equipment you can purchase with variety packs going anywhere from 15 to 30 US dollars. While some are more expensive depending upon the size, neutral densities are particularly expensive compared to other gels. On the whole, gels are relatively inexpensive compared to the cost of all your other equipment and will last multiple shoots. Without price being a hindrance, there's no reason to ignore the benefits of using gels on your lights for all of your lighting setups. In the digital aids, it's easy to fall into the we'll fix it in post trap for color correction like happens a lot. Yet, that's a long and tedious process that often results in a compromise because fixing it digitally isn't the same as adding the color originally so it doesn't always look quite right. Plus it affects the quality of your videos and films. Using gels properly can eliminate those headaches early on. Sure, they require a little more setup, but the time saved in post is more than worthwhile. Not to mention, you'll get a far more natural tone in your images and videos via gels on set than trying to replicate them on the computer, like I said. Now, I've done another more in-depth companion video on lighting gels, including defining five main types of gel categories and how they can control color, intensity of light, quality, and color temperature of all your lighting sources. And I'll link to that in the video description below. If all this is making sense to you, put I've got it in the comment section below. My question of the day is, how have you used lighting gels to improve the look of your videos and films or your photographs too? leave a comment below and let us know. Would you like to learn more about your camera settings to get you shooting like a pro? I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you with all the best camera settings to shoot video with your DSLR, mirrorless, or, or even your video camera. that will show you the settings that will allow your photos and videos to shine and stand out from the competition. The link to get that cheat sheet is just below in the video description. I've also created cheat sheets on other topics, such as video editing, and now even offer training courses on editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro software, and soon I'll have others. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses below as well. Learn to edit like a pro with my training course. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for more. Think what you saw was great? Like it. Do you have an opinion? Please comment below. Do you know someone who could benefit from the information I provided? Then please share the video. Do you want to learn even more? Well, if so, then connect with me, Jim Costa, and my company, Jim Costa Films, on social media and online, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have over 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. If you followed me for a while, you may know that I have a community of photographers, videographers, and filmmakers, just like you, on Facebook, where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called Video Producers and Content Creators. I love new members who want to share their work 
and learn from others, but also help others with their own experience as well. You will find the link to the group in the description below. So please join the group where you can learn even more.